Overcrowding, difference in ages, and a lack of clubs and organizations are just some of the issues stakeholders with the Wichita Falls ISD identify for the district's current middle school model. Dylan Jimenez looked into these issues and the solutions stakeholders are sharing right now. So Dylan, what's the number one solution the district is hearing most out there? The idea of having a sixth grade center, which Dr. Lee says the district has heard in past years. The overall goal for the district is creating the same opportunities for middle school kids. Stakeholders around the Wichita Falls ISD community raised several flags regarding the success of sixth graders and the current middle school model. We found out is there's a big problem academically with students around the state and in particular at Wichita Falls ISD when they become sixth graders. Nearly two thirds of stakeholder feedback comes from WFISD staff from overcrowding, student age differences, underutilizing facilities and more. It's a lot for the board to comb through. There's a lot of factors we wonder why are schools failing? Well, we need to be more equitable in how we do everything and give all of our kids a chance to be successful. Overcrowding and underutilizing facilities was a big talking point among trustees, seeing both Barwise and McNeil with over 1,000 students. Hershey's enrollment doesn't even hit 50% occupancy this year, a fix Superintendent Dr. Donnie Lee says will be addressed by next school year. What we want to do is utilize our facilities appropriately, uh, utilize on the other side rider appropriately, and then bar wise. Another solution stakeholders presented is consider a central sixth grade only facility. Lee and the board recognize the drastic structure change incoming sixth graders see and want to find ways to support the academically struggling grade. They've been treated more like the babies, so to speak. Identify and align middle school campuses with high school feeder patterns and adding more clubs and organizations to align with student talents are some of the other solutions WFISD heard from the feedback. Now the board will sift through and work to address the problems in the district. Dr. Lee says a second round of feedback and data will be collected before presented to the school board again. This time, it will be with a recommendation. All right, we hope to see that problem solved soon. Dylan, thank you so much for that story.